Dear students, welcome to the problem solving sessions on sequence and series. In today's session, we are going to learn the procedure for limit comparison test and we are going to solve some problems on it. Let us consider two positive term series, summation un and summation vn. And if limit n tends to infinity, un by vn is going to be l. l is some finite number, very important, it is not equal to 0. Then we say if vn converges, then summation un also converges. That is, if this condition is satisfied, satisfied then summation un summation vn both converge together or diverge together this is the result now let us go into the problem test the convergence so we have to give the final answer whether it is converging or diverging in the whole unit we are not going to find the answer or any number we are going to give the conclusion whether it is converging or diverging test the convergence of this number so let us take this as summation un now i want to find the nth term because i want to perform un by vn limit n tends to infinity so my first step is write the given problem as summation un step one gets over now we have to write the general nth term for this infinite series now you see in each term numerator has only one data but in the denominator we have three different datas you can see i mentioned in a three different colors so now when i find my nth term something one data will come in the numerator and we need to write three datas in the denominator so let us see how to find the nth term better you make a table as usual now one by one we can find the first term data is one second term data is three third term data is five so one three five it goes on now as i said in the basic video we know the formula for nth term a plus n minus 1 into d a is the first term that is 1 and difference between any two consecutive terms is my d that is going to be 2 so tn is equal to 1 plus n minus 1 into 2 simplifying this we will be getting 2n minus 1 so my numerator as the general term that is nth term 2n minus 1 now when I go for the denominator, I can take this first term. The first data is 1. Second term, first data is 2. Third term, first data is 3. So, I can write this 1, 2, 3, etc. Immediately, you can write the nth term is n. If you have lack of confidence, just go to this same formula. Tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. The first term is 1 and the difference is 1. So, now I can find Tn. Tn is 1 plus n minus 1 into 1 immediately I will get Tn is equal to n. But my denominator you see in each term consists of three data. So I want to find three general terms. The first one is n. Now you see the second one 2, 3, 4. Similarly you see the third one 3, 4, 5. So there is only one increment. So now the second term is n plus 1. The third term is n plus 2. So now we found the nth term in general. Let us write the nth term. Now, one more cross verification students. Suppose we have a doubt whether I am doing correct or not. Then go to the problem. This is the first term. So, n is 1. This is the second term, n is 2. This is the third term, n is 3. You can take any n value randomly and substitute here. Suppose I am substituting n is equal to 2, second term. Now, 2 into 2 minus 1. Here, n, this is 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. 2 plus 2 is 4. Now, 4 minus 1 is 3. 3 divided by 2, 3, 4. Now, you see, I got my second term. Term. So, if you are correct, you will get the term. If you are not correct, that means you may do any calculation error or minus plus error. Go and verify it and find the correct term. Next, we have to find Vn from this nth term un. This is the trick. Just listen. As I said, we are going to apply limit n tends to infinity un by vn. Now, we have to take n as much as possible and we try to cancel. Now, if I take n common from this three terms, I will be getting like this. So, now n n get cancel rewriting this will be getting un is equal to this just see this observation this 2 minus 1 by n or 1 plus 1 by n 1 plus 2 by n will never affect the problem because when you put limit n tends to infinity all this 
three terms will become finite. Two minus zero, one plus zero, and one plus zero. Only one term which is creating a trouble is this n square in the denominator. So this one by n square, when I apply infinity, it will become zero. It will violate the condition of limit comparison test. So the trick is who is violating the condition? Take that guy, kick him away. So let us take v n as one by n square. That's it, guys. This is the trick. All the other terms are not affecting the problem. Only this one by n square is affecting the problem. Let us take this as v n. Now we are going to find u n by v n. So u n by v n is nothing but just neglect this n square term and then write the remaining data. Now this is my u n by v n. Now we have to apply limit n tends to infinity in this problem. If you apply limit n tends to infinity, numerator will be getting 2 minus 0, denominator 1 plus 0 and 1 plus 0. So it is going to be 2 by 1, simply 2. Very important, this is not equal to 0. If it is 0, I cannot apply limit comparison test. So this is not equal to 0. Therefore, Next, I have to I have to concentrate on the dangerous guy V n. Let us take this summation V n is equal to summation one by n square because we know V n is one by n square. In the previous video, in basics, I gave a very important result. Summation one by n power p converges if p greater than one. Now you see V n. We have one by n square here. P value is two. It is going to be greater than one. Therefore, from this result, I can say summation one by n square is convergent. If summation one by n square is convergent, summation v n is convergent. Now the limit comparison test comes into play. See the limit comparison test. If v n converges, u n also converges. If v n diverges, u n also diverges. Therefore, by limit comparison test. Summation u n is also convergent. So the given series is a converging series students. Hope you understand. Now with the previous problem solving knowledge, let us play the game. This time I am not going to solve the problem. This time we are going to say the answer by directly seeing the problem examine the series. That means you have to check whether it is converging or diverging. Now see, I want to find u n. See the numerator. Each term consists of only one data, but all the data here is one. There is no n. In the denominator, I can see each term consists of three data. That means I will get three terms in the denominator. So in each term, I can take one n outside. So I will be getting n into n into n and the remaining things. So so these things are good terms. It will not affect the problem. n cube is the bad guy. So I will take v n is equal to 1 by n cube. Okay. You see, without solving the problem, without finding the term, I am just giving you the idea. Now we know this result. Just now we took v n is equal to 1 by n cube. Summation v n is equal to summation 1 by n cube. We know the result 1 by n power p converges if p greater than 1. See here, we have n cube. p is equal to 3 that is greater than 1. Therefore, the problem is converging by limit comparison test. We don't solve the problem, but we can guess the answer. Now, even you can see this directly and grasp the idea in your mind. Okay, numerator does not contain anything. Denominator contains three terms. So, we are going to get three trouble grieving n. 1 by n cube. 1 by n cube means it is going to be convergent series because p is equal to 3 that is greater than 1. The idea comes from here. Similarly, we will try one more problem. Examine the series. So, numerator I will be getting 1 n. Denominator I have 2 data in each term. I will be getting n into n. n n get cancelled. So, my v n will become 1 by n. If my v n is 1 by n, according to this result, summation 1 by n will be diverging because it is less than or equal to 1. So, the original series is a diverging series. See how easily we can get the answers. So, just remember the trick in the mind and you can confidently solve the problems in the examinations. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and share to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye bye.